Okay, guys, here's uh, just one example of how to save some money on shipping, um, and it's Magic the Gathering related, because um, that's just what I sent out on this one, uh, but it's also just in general, this will work for shirts, some types of you know, shorts and pants that aren't very thick and not very heavy. This will help you out a lot. So I've got some, these are poly mellers. I ordered these generic poly mellers on eBay from um, probably, uh, oh man, I don't remember the name of the company. Um, Eco Swift is one of them. And there's another one that I found and there's probably two or three other generic ones um, that'll sell these. So I think I paid... I bought these in bulk, so I paid like twenty five or twenty between twenty two and twenty five cents a piece for these mailers. I think is what I paid, uh, or maybe that was the bigger ones. I'm not one hundred percent sure, but this is like eleven and a half by seven and a half. Um, and I sold a play mat, and um, they're not super heavy. They usually don't weigh over a pound. This is just an example because I've already got the other one packaged up. But what I did is uh, be before I had been sending these in uh, small flat rate boxes, which cost, depending on the region, um, between like six seventy five and seven fifty now I think something somewhere around there, and that's pretty expensive if you're only selling these play mats for twenty thirty dollars. That's a large percentage of of your total money. So what I did is I folded it in half, folded it in half again, and then folded over. Sorry, I had to put down the phone. Fold it over one more time. Um, basically, hot dog, hot dog, hamburger. So it'll look like this now. I can't hold it that way, but I had folded it over in this. And then what I'll do is I'll put that in one of these bubble mailers and try and get it as flat as possible because you don't want to push it down because you don't want to get a crease in the play mat, which usually won't happen because the type of the material it is. And then I'll seal that up. And then what I'll do is you can see this one's already done. Um, and you can see in here... Um, there's another poly mailer in there. The reason why I double bag it is so it doesn't get wet. There's a lot of rain and snow right now all over the country. Um, so I do that to get wet. Um, when you're talking 20, 22 cents on, this is a $40 play mat. It's not that much. But the whole point of this is, is instead of doing a first class box or um, actually it's priority small flat rate boxes, like I said, are probably closer to the seven to 750 range most places. And these play mats uh, weighed over 10, a little over 10 ounces. Um, so I double bagged it, but you can see in here, I got um, some cardboard. This is just from a box of popcorn, which is kind of ghetto. I keep all my, it kind of looks like hoarders, but I keep a box or two of random cardboard, like TV dinners, popcorn boxes, anything like this that's not going to have food on the back of it. Of course, you don't want it dirty. Um, I reuse instead of just throwing it away and we don't want, there's not a big recycling center here where I live. Um, I'll cut it up to size so it'll fit on both sides. So um, this is the front here. There's one piece in there still. You can see there's one piece on the front and back. That's going to help protect it, but it's also going to help keep it flat for when you print off a, a label to put it on there. I use a thermal um, with labels so it'll just stick right on top. And then I'll seal this other end up and it'll be good to ship. But it's a, like a little over 11 ounces. So since I didn't go with the box, it's not over a pound. If you go with the box, it's most likely going to be over a pound. Um, or close to it, but this will go first class, so it'll get to my customers faster than priority in most cases. But not only that, this is only going to cost me about I think three seventy-five to four dollars, so it saves me about three to three fifty in shipping. It's almost half price on shipping to do it this way, and I haven't had any complaints. And I've sold about five or six of these the same way in the U.S. Um, actually, one of them went to Spain. One of my uh, playmats went to I think Spain or Italy or something in the global shipping program. No problems whatsoever. All positive feedback. But not only that, this is a good tip to help save you guys some money. Like I had showed in my other video, you definitely need to scale to uh, this AccuTech. You can get on Amazon and eBay is like 25 bucks or something like that. Um, I heard uh, Garage Flips has had to replace his twice. But if it's only 25 bucks and you're replacing it every couple of years, it's not a big expense. And you got to have one anyways. So... I'm, of course, I'm missing this other insert I'm going to have to put back in there, but you can see 11.2 ounces, so it's going to be under 12 ounces with that in there. It's going to be perfectly shipped. 
And, uh, you know, there shouldn't be any problems unless somebody jams a knife through it. And in that case, uh, it's for it, it's first class. It actually has insurance of up to $100, so that will cover the cost of what's in there. Uh, so this is just a helpful tip I'll put on one of my other videos. And uh, I liked uh, Garage Flips, how he did some of his um, special uh, shipping things that he does. And Craigslist Hunter did one, too, about different boxes and how to... Um, you know, save money and, and protect your items and that sort of thing. So I'll keep doing a couple of these on certain items that I sell on how to save money for you guys for shipping. Uh, so maybe you guys will learn something. Maybe you'll save a little bit of money on your shipping and have a great one.